Hi tea friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over my tea empties for the month of November. I can't believe November is already done already and we're going to be heading into Advent season. So yeah, I'll just be um, doing a little tea talk of the um, teas that I drink for the month of November. Um, I basically try to do this every month just to keep a record of some of the teas that I may or may not have enjoyed. Um, but most of them usually are tea bags. Um, for now but I have been trying to um, drink more of loose leaf tea that I have in my stash um, so I'm just trying to get rid of my tea bags for now so I'm already in the Christmas spirit and I have my David's tea um, cup that was from last year um, and I'm drinking um, a tea from one of my advent calendars last year um, it's called frosted fruit um, from Yon tea company um, and here is um, pretty much the back of the advent that I cut out. The ingredients in this one is black tea, apple pieces, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, amaranth, safflower petals, and natural flavors. Um, so this one, I had it hot. I added, um, I think it was a little bit of honey and then um, some whipped cream on top. Um, instead of cream and sugar, I've kind of been liking um, whipped cream instead so thank you mom for that <laughs> um, but this one was actually really good um, hot mm. so it cooled down now considerably it's like room temperature a little bit um, kind of cold um, it's definitely a fruit forward tea um, with a nice black tea note in the background I think the main thing that comes through for me would be probably the sweetness of the apple pieces and um, like a sweet ginger because there's some ginger um, teas that are like a hot spicy ginger um, but this one is a sweet ginger which is actually really nice I have two um, containers that have my tea bags and the loose leaf tea that I have uh, finished for this month so this one um, I kept at home so it was all the teas that I finished at home and then this was pretty much my work teas um, so I guess I'll start with my um, teas that I drink at home. So I just reused this Prince of Wales um, little tea box to hold all of the loose leaf teas and things. Um, I don't really drink that much tea when I'm at home since I usually drink most of it while I'm at work. This one is a recurring one. It's the strawberry and mango from Newbie Teas, which is a Tizane or a Zane. <laughs> Anybody knows how to say that, let me know. Um, but this one I really like to cold brew and have it with my lunch because it's a really nice um, like sweet and tart um, like herbal tea um, which I really like. Um, I think this was the last of the tea that I have for this one. Um, it smells like freeze dried strawberries and like really sweet. So if I ever do place an order with Nubia, I'll definitely be picking this one up. I have a whole bunch of T2 Jade Mountain um, tea bags. This one, I actually um, cut all the tea bags open and I put them in a container and bought them to work. Um, so this was the box for that. Um, so Jade Mountain is one of my favorite teas, I'd say. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite green teas. I'd say it's my top 10 um, overall like tea in general that I like. Um, this one is Gen Mai Cha, um, which is basically a roasted green tea with um, popped or roasted rice in it. Um, it also has brittle pieces, cocoa husk, sweet blackberry leaves, chicory root, almonds, carob, and natural and artificial flavor. Um, this one, you definitely taste the um, green tea in this one. It's definitely green tea forward, but there is a nice sweetness um, and like roasty kind of light note that comes with the um, popped rice and I think the brittle pieces also add a nice um, sweetness it's almost like a there's almost like a chocolatey note kind of chocolatey vanilla note maybe in that one that I really like um, but it's not so much in your face it's like a really nice pleasant tea um, definitely good for the evening time or like late afternoon I have a clear the path ritual tea from the Witchwood tea house um, this one I got in my Sips Buy um, a while ago. <laughs> um, this one is an herbal tea uh, that, um, actually it's not a herbal tea. It had black tea, coconut, bay, ginger, dandelion, cinnamon, mugwort, and nutmeg. Um, this one was a very spice for a tea. Um, kind of has like a warm spice with um, the sweetness of the coconut and um, the black tea base. I would drink this at night, but... Um, 
I don't know, I guess the caffeine in this one didn't really affect me because I drank this one at night and it was um, really good. I also have one of the cards from last year's advent in here. Um, this one was Adagio's Butterscotch, which is rooibos tea, black tea, caramel, and vanilla flavor. Um, this one I think is one of my favorite um, butterscotch teas. It was really good. It was definitely sweet, so if you don't like sweet teas or dessert teas, this one may not be for you, but um, it was a nice caramel and creamy vanilla um, black tea. And it couldn't, it's the rooibos has like a sweet note that it lends to this blend, so it was actually really good. So then for this tea box, um, this was just everything that I drink at work. Um, it is a little bit fuller because at work, I'm of course there five, now six days a week for the um, holiday season, but I drink anywhere from usually two, and if I'm really feeling it, up to four <laughs> tea um, cups of tea a day. Ticino hazelnut. Um, I tried to give Ticino another shot, but I don't think I really like Ticino that much. Um, I don't know. I think I need to try it with cream because I had this only with sugar, and it was still like really, really bitter for me. Um, so it says to dunk it and steep it for three to five minutes, but I thought it was like way too bitter for my taste so if i were to give it another shot i would um drink it with sugar and maybe some cream might help it out i have a ginger snappish from bigelow which is a snappy ginger tea with lemon um this one is i'd say it's definitely more on the fruity note um it's more fruity than anything i don't really get ginger notes maybe some sweet ginger notes i wouldn't say it's um, like ginger snap or um, gingerbread ish, um, more on like the fruity side. Um, this one is from Stephen Smith Tea Maker number 55. It's Lord Bergamot, which is a full leaf black tea. Um, so this is just um, Indian Assam, Sri Lankan Dimbula, Sri Lankan Uva full leaf black teas, and natural bergamot flavor. So this one tasted pretty much like Earl Grey. Um, it was a strong black tea base, like really strong, so definitely good for the morning. Um, and the bergamot, I think, really complemented that. And this one is uh, Twining's Herbal Tea Peppermint Cheer. This one is one of my favorite peppermint teas. It almost tastes like a kind of like a York peppermint patty. I think I've mentioned that in previous months. So this one is from OT's. It's organic rooibos vanilla. This one I thought um, just tasted like a plain rooibos to me. I didn't really get any vanilla notes, so it was really good. Um, just hot as a plain rooibos. This one is cup of cake tea by the Republic of Tea and it's caramel vanilla. Um, this one is another one of my favorites. Um, I'd say it's also in my top 10 probably uh, favorite teas. It's a black tea um, that has sweet blackberry leaves, carabits, natural caramel, and vanilla flavors. This one is definitely a strong black tea with a nice um, caramel and vanilla notes that are really nice. It's definitely sweet so you don't have to add any um, like extra sweeteners, sugar, or anything. Um, so I actually do have a tin, like a full size tin of this because it was so good. So if you are into dessert teas, um, I would definitely try this one out. I have a few um, Jasmine Blossom Green Teas from Nubi. Um, this one is a really, really strong um, Jasmine tea. Um, this is a green tea, but I don't get any green tea notes. It honestly just tastes like drinking straight um, like Jasmine water, I guess. Cause kind of you know like rose water but jasmine water so this one um it was pretty good so i i assumed that because it was a green tea that you steep it for like three to four minutes um so i did that without reading the back of the bag and the bag actually says to steep it for one to two minutes so the first cup i had was super bitter and really overpowering on the jasmine note um but when you steep it um, i found that like a minute and a half was actually really good for this one um but for me like jasmine teas i have to be in the mood for it which is like once a week this is really good if you just want a nice um strong cup of jasmine green tea i also have a eggnog in from bigelow which is a black tea um, it also has green tea natural eggnog flavor um, other natural flavors and cinnamon this one actually um does taste like eggnog um it's more of like a black tea with cinnamon and 
uh, nutmeg, I think are the two strongest notes. Um, I think if you add maybe a dash of cream or some kind of um, alternative milk, it might also be really good and taste more like eggnog. This one is from Kusmi Tea Paris. Um, it's a cashmere chai. Uh, this one has just uh, flavored black tea with spices. This one there was, it was one of those chais that was really spicy. It doesn't say what kind of spice was in, was in here, but I think that um, there was a really strong, I want to almost say black pepper note, maybe some cardamom or I don't know, but I'm smelling it and it's like really, maybe there is cardamom. It kind of smells like cardamom when I smell the bag now. So if you're not into spicy teas and you more want um, the warm spice, I would maybe head away from this, but I think this would be good. Um, maybe iced, that might also be good, but I only have the one tea bag, so I can't try it iced. I also have some T2 um, tea bags. So this one, um, oh, I actually have two New York breakfasts. So I have the old packaging, um, I think this is from my advent last year or the year before. I like that their new packaging has little quotes on it. I think it's super cool. Um, so New York breakfast is basically just a black tea with cinnamon um, and natural flavoring with vanilla. Um, so it is a, a pretty much like a vanilla black tea, I'd say, with a hint of cinnamon. Um, so it is good, definitely for the mornings. I also have another morning tea, which is T2's Melbourne breakfast. This one is... Oh, looks like just black tea and um, natural and artificial vanilla flavoring. So this one is another um, good breakfast black uh, vanilla tea. The rest of the things in this um, little box I have are just these little tags. So I did end up finishing all of my teas from the um, Bird and Blend advent calendar last year, uh, which is awesome because <laughs> that's I think that's my first advent calendar I finished actually because I still have stuff from the David's Tea, Yawn Brew, Adagio, and T2 advent calendars from last year. Um, Christmas Cranberry Pie. Um, this one is actually good. Um, I think I iced this one. It was um, very fruity. I believe it was a nice um, red color when I steeped it up. So it was a really good um, iced tea. Number four, I also have Winter's Coming. Um, this one was okay. I didn't really like um this one honestly it was like really herbally kind of too much for my liking it almost tasted like a sick tea you know because so like a sick tea for me would be chamomile um for sure um there's a traditional medicinals um throat coat so like um it's herbally with um like licorice root and i think this would be a good sick tea 15 cold weather warrior same thing i think it would be a good sick tea it's very herbally it's like a tea that tastes like medicine, if that makes sense. Like it could have medicinal qualities. <laughs> Number 20 is rhubarb and custard. This one was a good um, iced tea as well. I also steeped this one up and I'm pretty sure it had a nice um, red color. And number five, uh, candy cane. This one was a good um, tea that had a little note of peppermint, um, which I liked. Um, not as good as the Twinings um, peppermint tea, but it was a pretty good peppermint tea, just not sure if I would reorder it again. <laughs> so that is all of my tea empties for the month of November. Um, today's the November 26th, so um, I'm kind of wrapping this up this month up a little early because um, next month on the 1st, which is next week already, I'm going to be starting um, my daily uploads of the advent calendars. Um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way so I can focus more on the advent calendar content that I'll be trying to put out daily for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow along with my advent openings this year, um, you can go ahead and subscribe below. And I will try to post um, what I get for the day on Instagram as well. Um, you can follow me over there at Erica's Tea Corner. But I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, and I'll be sure to see you guys pretty soon for the advent unboxings. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.